Today we will hello everybody today we learn what is what is what is what is self keyword in python what is self keyword in python so answer to this question is self in python used to access class instance instance variables class instance variable it is used to remove the ambiguity mb ambiguity in in a in ambiguity in in a variable normal normal variable normal variable and a class variable a class instance variable class instance variable a class instance variable now here what i want to convey actually see let us suppose i'll go to my see i'll just a minute i'll start it what i want to convey here actually let us suppose if let us suppose if i have c in this one see let us suppose if i have a variable a okay and i have another variable another variable which is being used in the uh, class that is again a here it is an argument it is i'll say normal variable and this is my instance variable now when i am using these of two variables in the class when i am using these two variables in the class simultaneously inside a function then how i will distinguish that which one is uh, uh, i mean uh, as I, i said it's a normal variable this is normal variable and this is my class instance variable so i'll represent it with say i now when i am accessing this how i how i uh, you know decide that which one it is it is instance variable or it's a your uh, normal variable because you know see let us suppose if you are passing arguments to a function in that one the name can resemble then name can be can be same so in such situation how will we distinguish so for distinguishing all these uh, i mean these two variables here situation will come as i said a and a situation will come something like this now problem is which one this a is is this this one or is is this one i mean uh, as i said instance variable this is normal variable so if it is this then what i am trying to do here i am trying to uh, trying to assign a to a i means if a is an argument i am trying to assign a uh, i mean uh, doing self referencing what does that mean means i am not initializing uh, that uh, you know instance variable so in such situation if i am uh, you know facing uh, such situation where i am using both the uh, you know both the variables names simultaneously then i can use self keyword here to distinguish my instance variable with the class variable so it is my self keyword i'll write it like this self dot a equal to a what does that mean that means now this a is instance variable and this a is normal variable so i mean to say here this a i mean this was sorry instance variable has been initialized by a normal variable which is being passed as an argument so now if 
in my program if i do practically this how i'll do that now let us go to our compiler program so in that one see what i uh, i have written here self in python used to access class instance variable it used it is used it is used to remove it is used used to remove the ambiguity in a normal variable and class instance variable accessibility accessibility access accessibility accessibility so the accessibility will be uh, you know confuse uh, will be a confusion how we can how we uh, you know we will be doing that in our program so here i will you know i will just comment it and now see my program so here i will define a class say a and this is class a and then i'll define a function say def function name i'll say mm, i'll put it uh, one parameter here i'll use it as constructor so init i'll use init then init will be a function so here i will have to use self keyword self keyword is as it is function so i have used it now here i will take one variable say a equal to say 10 a equal to 10 now now i will i will uh, you know in the first one i will write it like this and now i will create an object of this before this def uh, i'll make one function display and i would like to display its value so i'll write here print value of a is value of a is i'll print here a then it is a so here as in python i'll have to use it as self so now see i have used here self and see what it is going to give you when i'll run this program you will find you will have to uh, you know i create an object of it first uh, you know a it is let us suppose a it's been used like this so what does that mean actually see here when i'll run this program see if i run this program what happens it is it has it is saying line number 6 class a has some invalid syntax what is that line number 6 class a i did not use this one so now you run it and see so now you are seeing a and that sorry little bit indentation problem python has this all the time you have to keep in mind here again you have to check out for indentation it is correct no it is not again so now here you need to check it out this is done so now as per indentation run this program so when you have run it you did not get any output right now you have just created object but with this program when you have written ob equal to a what does that mean you have initialized your variable you have initialized one variable that is a equal to 10 but right now you have not used anything to print it you to call it to print so i will use ob dot display i will use ob dot display and run it see your program could not run please why this is because you have not used any self keyword and a has not been defined that means a is what is a here is not known almost a what is a not known so if i will put here self keyword then you will be able to access it now if i'll put self then see your program will run now self and run 
self and run value of a self dot a has been given and what's wrong here oh self have has not been used here so you will have to use self and run it now it is recognized and there will be you know no problem in this and your program will run so what does that mean here actually it means the self keyword is working as instance uh, of the class instance of the class means object of the class referring to that uh, object and then it is able to access your data members so without your self keyword you won't be able to run your program now okay this is one thing now let us improve this program little bit more here what i will do now i will call that same one but this time i would like to put something here a now see this this earlier i did that and this time i have used uh, you know one uh, uh, you know one more parameter to this and that is having as the same name as the earlier one so here i will not initialize it directly rather i will use this argument now when i have used this argument so i need to pass this argument here so this time i am passing 20 to it so what does that mean that means it will go here and now your instance variable will be initialized by a if you do not uh, so uh, i'll run and see the output you will get 20 output as is now because you now as this is 20 is being passed to your uh, init method and init uh, is working as a constructor actually for the class a and a, a value of uh, this uh, you know um, value of a which is being passed as an argument that will be uh, you know assigned to your instance variable and instance variable will be printed here so you are getting answer 20 now if i do not do this if i do not do this so what you are going to get here when you are doing this then you are not going to get what you are get uh, what you are printing uh, self dot a so you will not get that value so run it now here is a problem for you because neither your program is able to address uh, that uh, class uh, you know instance variable or nor it is able to assign any value to it and neither it is able to print it so what is the use of self keyword i have uh, done it uh, uh, you know uh, from the error point of view and as well as from the running point of view now let us suppose if i take it with the methods see now what happens this is uh, for the uh, by using the constructor now i will do it by using your method so it is 10 now when you will print you will be running it and you will be getting value 10 run it and get the value run it and get the value run it and get the value so you will be getting 10 now this is fine now i will use method with this so my method will be what i'll use here now see i will use one more method and in this method i will use uh, say mm, uh, i initialize i will use complete initialize okay initialize i use this function and in this function i am using self and this time i will use one parameter and say like this now when i have used this parameter see what's going to happen because this is a method and in this method i will have to call it that will be one thing in this method now self dot a equal to a now here i will be using let it be as it is i will create one more object ob1 equal to and this time i'll putting i'll put say value 30 say something like this and the display in the first case when i have done with the ob object i will be putting in the same way i will be getting my answer there is no problem but in the second case here what is going to happen so here i will just print it see now what's going ha to happen a equal to 30 that means it is going to sorry it's not that it's not that please here i am calling this object initialize ob dot init initialize 
is my function but this function is going to be para is a parameterized one so it is going to be called like this so 30 has been passed through this and here this 30 will be assigned to your a and a will be uh, further initialized to the instance variable now with this if you will print the value of display a and see what you are going to get you are going to get answer 30 and because here you have passed because what you have done with this you have initialized it once you have initialized that means your program is going to run uh, your program is going to run so ob dot initialize 30 and has been called 10 is there a little bit from initialize i and i a initialize spelling is correct 30 has been passed and you are ob display initialize spelling is correct i n i o i has been missed out please very sorry initialize and now run it see you are going to get value 30 so see in the first case there was no parameter given value to a directly in the second one the value is coming up with the parameter arguments and again that is being initialized so that means with the help of self keyword you are able to access instance variable of a class now if i remove this if i remove this what will happen again you will see because you know in that case when you are doing this it is not able to identify your variable error very much please